you're the first guest I've been talking to people about abductive reasoning. And every time I tell people, they're like, what's that? And is that made up? And I'm like, no, Google, it's a real thing. Well, for the listener, I think it might be beneficial to do a quick, like one-on-one course on abduction. You know, uh, I think it's a a, a misnomer that Sherlock Holmes was a deductive reasoner. He was an abductive reasoner and that's what made him so effective. Right. And but at the end, but it looks like he's a deductive reasoner because he like talks with so much certainty when he's doing the big reveal at the end. I just want to make sure that they're like on the same level as us, you know, before we go forward. Yeah. So you've heard Sherlock Holmes. And they're like, oh, you've got a power of deduction. I'm going to, it wasn't his powers of induction. Like I said, it's abduction. Deduction is simply the process of taking a principle or rule and then inferring a result in a particular case. I'm going to give you a real world example because that's like big words that people are like, what the fuck is that, Ari? Think about this, Daisy Duck. If you took Daisy Duck, put her on a picture, and you said, all ducks are white, Daisy is a duck, therefore Daisy is white. That is deduction. It's always true. If all ducks are white and Daisy is a duck, Daisy has to be white. See how I deduced what da- that Daisy is white from that all ducks are white, okay? Induction starts with surveying data and the case and generalizing across many principles to identify a pattern. So let's use the Daisy, let's stay on Disney, right? You have Daisy is a duck and she's white. Donald is a duck and he is white. And Scrooge is a duck and he is white. Therefore, ducks are white. All ducks are white. So I'll give you an example from when people were in offices. Let's say you go to lunch with your coworkers, right? You go out with six of your coworkers and four of them order the exact same thing you would induce that sandwich is probably good because most of them ordered that sandwich. Finally, abduction is like taking, it's like thinking in bets. It's like taking information and evidence, weighing the strength of that evidence, and then making decisions based upon it. It's when a major premise is evident, but the minor premise, and therefore the conclusion is only probable. So it'd be like this. Most ducks are white. Daisy is a duck, therefore Daisy is likely white. Now we would need more information. We found a white feather in Daisy's house. Daisy is likely a white duck. I mean, could it it be something else? Yes, it could be that Donald was visiting Daisy and left a feather there and Donald was white. But we're saying that Daisy is likely white. And then you're basing that conclusion from the information known at that point in time. It's building a level of certainty or probability towards something that based upon evidence that's happening at the time. That is the difference between the three. Detectives take an abductive approach to things. They build, think about abduction as building a case. So in our case, in the case that you and I are talking about today, abduction is building a business case for something. You're chasing a story of why something is happening and attaching a likelihood or a level of certainty to that. Yeah, and so... That that's that put another crease in my brain as I'm trying to understand like this topic that the deduction in Sherlock Holmes. So the whole course of the story, he's ab- doing abductions and it seems like he's in his head. And, and, and I think that's like why he has like the kind of like the partner foil of Watson to just be like, I don't know what this guy's thinking about and the whole time. And at the end, he makes a deduction when he needs to like make an accusation as a consultant. Right. He needs to make an, actually make a claim that this is what happened. Here's all the evidence I had. And in product, that loop is a little bit faster than the justice system. I think for the sake of justice and making sure that the wrong people aren't put away, you get the opportunity to really make sure that you have the, the evidence. But sometimes in product, it's you just and I like this idea that it's just ongoing and the case is your business. Why should your business be in business? <laughs> is probably the case you're working on. 